Hey there, welcome back to Umbraco Learning Base. My name is Isha and in today's video, we'll look at using list views on document types. List view displays a list of categories when it's enabled on a document type that has children. Let's look at my project here. It has a couple of content nodes. If I expand the products content node, it has multiple child loads beneath it. Now, this list can grow very large over a period of time, and it might get difficult to manage the child nodes or the content tree. This is where list view comes into play. If we enable list view on the products document type, all the pages using the products document type will be available in a list view under the products page. Let's go to the info tab and open the products document type. We'll go to the list view tab and enable list view. You'll notice a list view content default data type added below. We can either click on create custom list view or the cog wheel to configure the list view settings. Let's look at these settings here. The first setting is page size. Here, you can define how many child content nodes you want to see per page. By default, it's set to 100. I'll change it to 10. The next setting is order direction. You can select if you wish to display the content nodes in ascending or descending order. The order is affected by the order by setting. Then we have columns displayed. By default, we have two columns that will be displayed. That is update date and owner. It's possible to add more columns to the list. Let's select category from the drop down and click add. We can now define a header name that should be displayed in the list view. In this case, I'll add catalog category and in the template field, you can define what kind of value you want to display. I'll add value here. So it will take the value of the category property and display it in the list. You can also move these headers around if you want them in a specific order. The next setting is order by. Here, you can sort your list by the selection you choose in the drop down. By default, it's ordered by last edited option. Then we have the layout setting. By default, the list view comes with two layouts, grid and list view. These views can be disabled if you're not interested in any of them. Moving on, we have the bulk action permissions. By default, we have these bulk actions that are allowed from the list view. Then we have the content app icon. You can change how the list view icon looks like in the back office. The next setting is the content app name. Here, you can provide the name for the list view content app that will be displayed as a tab. If this field is empty, it displays the tab name as child items. I'll enter catalog here. Moving on, you can enable show content app first to show the content app as the first tab instead of the list view app. And finally, you can enable edit in infinite editor to use infinite editing to edit the content of the list view. Cool. Now let's click on save list view and see this list view data type in action. I'll click on save and publish. And if you do not see any changes in the content tree, try refreshing the page. So what has changed now? The content tree no longer displays the child nodes below the products document type. We have the content app as the first tab instead of the list view app. All the child nodes are displayed under the products document type and only 10 items are displayed per page. 
We can toggle between the layouts from here. And the child notes are ordered by last edited. We also have the catalog category displaying the category tags. If you select multiple child notes, you can see the bulk action options above. And if you wish to edit a content node, you can use the infinite editing feature. That's pretty much all the settings we configured while enabling the list view feature. You can do much more with the list view data type. Go ahead and play around with it. You can also refer to our documentation in case you need any help. You can find the documentation link in the description box below. And that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you found this video useful. Until next time, take care and stay safe.